Shopping HQ to see if you qualify. Qualifying households can get a free router with an additional $45 off for a limited time only. Visit Docomo Pacific and ask about ACP today. Docomo Pacific, better together. All right, Tomas Manglotnia, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Great to be back with you. Uh, yeah, studio. so glad to have you here. So how it works is he's our regional correspondent uh, covering all things NMI, and then uh, he flies out to the NMI on a plane. Um, <laughs> yes, that, that's how you get there. Yeah, every not on a Goliath, <laughs> nothing like that. The, the inter-island ferry has yet to be reestablished. So not we're, yet. We're, we're waiting for there that. There ought to be some ARP funding for that kind of thing. There ought to I mean? be. Everyone says I that. Everyone God. wants their piece of the pie. But some some huge news. Uh, you know, recapping uh, the trip to Tinian with the major uh, military developments there happening as tensions rise in the region. Uh, the slaughterhouse that they're trying to. Uh, um, rekindle the cattle industry there, and then also a, a story of an astrophotographer in Tinian who's going to be sending us photos every now and then uh, of, of what it looks like from from the island. But Chris wanted to shift gears just a little bit. Uh, today's a big day in terms of uh, Sinai politics. The Senate uh, over in Saipan is going to be convening at 1:30 p.m. to officially adopt their version of the 28-page impeachment trial rules. Uh, this uh, has become highly contentious. Last night, late last night, the scene of my House Speaker, Edmund Villa Gomez, released his statement saying that the impeachment rules uh, are troubling to him. Uh, he says the people of our Commonwealth have the right to have us conduct a fair trial. Uh, just wanted to read uh, a few more of his statement. He says, The Senate rules present violations of the Open Government Act. The impeachment rules were adopted Friday morning without allowing oral comments on the proposed rules, rules that were withheld from the public and not made available to all members of the Senate until the close of business. The Senate rules go so far as to limit the House of Representatives by not giving us equal footing. It does not seem reasonable that the Senate president can handpick who will lead our impeachment prosecution and limit the number of impeachment managers to present our case. These are but two of the Senate's unreasonable rules the House cannot accept. But there are more. This is what a House Speaker Edmund Villa Gomez had to say. He says it's in the best interest to have a fair trial, and it's inexplicable that the Senate would hamper our ability to perform our constitutional duties in this manner. And so, Chris, what's the issue here is that um, one of the first things that uh, the Speaker pointed out is that in the 20-page rules, uh, when we covered the Senate uh, Joint Committee on Friday, uh, they read the rules... They only read the amendments to the rules. Uh, they only allowed public comments uh, through email. And so before the adoption, no one got a chance to look at the 28 page pages of rules. Uh, and so it was released, uh, as the speaker said, at the end of business day. And today they're expected to pass and adopt it. But one of the interesting things in the rules is that uh, it puts a uh, it limits uh, the how who who can represent the house uh, essentially as the impeachment managers or the prosecutors. So the first is uh, it says that the house speaker who approved the investigation is going to be the uh, house uh, prosecutor. Uh, if he or she is not able to do that, then it becomes the impeachment committee chair, who's uh, B J Atchow, representative B J Atchow. And then if they're not able to do that, then the senate senate president gets to hand pick who the House prosecutor will be. And in addition to that, uh, the Senate president designated himself as the presiding officer over the trial. And of course, this is significant, as we've reported, because the Senate, uh, the Senate president issued a letter to the judiciary asking judges and justices to preside over the impeachment trial, as it is done in the United States Capitol. Uh, but the justices and judges refuse. They all recuse themselves yeah, from hearing yeah, that. Uh, that. And so... Uh, we got a chance to speak with uh, the chair of the uh, Joint Committee, Francisco Cruz, uh, fresh after uh, the uh, rules were adopted in that committee. And we also learned that the House, uh, rather that the Senate, uh, hired a special attorney uh, to guide them through this impeachment trial process. So here's that interview. You know, actually, I can, in regards to the rules, we only adopt the rules on committee level. I, I cannot... Uh, a step further uh, until the full uh, before the full members of the Senate pass it on uh, on our next uh, uh, session, but I, I cannot uh, I cannot say uh, whether or not everyone will agree to it. That's why we have to to present this to the full Senate members in our next uh, uh, session that the president called, so that we can uh, 
uh, pass it. Uh, right now, we with the uh, consensus of the joint committee uh, 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 members uh, that we adopt on a committee level uh, for recommendation to pass on our next session. And can you confirm the legal counsel of Mr. Dulet, I think? Is yeah, that his name? Uh, the, the, the special legal counsel? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's Was the, he brought on specifically for this? Yeah, that's a special legal counsel for this uh, impeachment process. Okay. Uh, do you know uh, when he was hired? Was when he was brought on? When was he brought on? Uh, when, when he, I'm not really sure he was uh, hired by the president, but uh, it was, was last week, I believe, uh, uh, the exact day that he was hired. Uh, I cannot tell you. Uh, I'm not. I have to, you know, uh, find out from the president. But uh, yeah, he was hired uh, last week. And can you just give us a gist of what the rules are? I know we're waiting for the copy to be filed, but um, what what is what are the main takeaways of the rules that you've adopted today? I cannot I cannot uh, I cannot uh, elaborate further on this uh, because this is a joint committee uh, committee uh, a meeting uh, between the JGL and the uh, and EAGI, and I cannot uh, I cannot comment at this point until the consensus of both both committee, you know, uh, uh, then and also. After we pass the on uh, before the full Senate members with the rules, uh, but at this point I cannot comment further on that. All right. And when is the Senate gonna uh, meet? Uh, is March the, uh, I think uh, March third, no. Uh, that will be the the call of the president for the session, and uh, um, and, and this this committee uh, 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 recommendation on the the impeachment rules will be on that calendar. All right, and can you clarify the role of the committee moving forward once the Senate ad uh, approves the final version of the rules? What will the committee do after that? Uh, Is it essentially over? Once, once we, we pass on the, before the full Senate members on, on the next session, uh, then that's when the proceedings of the, of, of the, the that, that, like we mentioned earlier, that we did not, we, we table the impeachment uh, resolution of, from the House because we haven't passed the resolution. So we have to, to, to pass the resolution, the speech, I mean the speech man rules of the Senate in order for us to entertain the, the, the House resolution. Is there a chance that the House resolution might not be passed? Is there what? Is there a chance the House resolution might not be passed in regards to the uh, No, I cannot, cannot comment. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Chris, so already, uh, politics at play uh, here. Uh, this is mm. the process of which the impeachment process goes through. It's now in the hands of the Senate. Right. Uh, the House saying that uh, they're not happy with the rules that have been proposed. Uh, and so we'll continue to see again that uh, uh, Senate special Senate session is going to be uh, streamed at 1.30 p.m., which will see for the first time the full Senate body deliberate on the impeachment. This is going to be their first meeting wow. since the impeachment happened uh, in January. So Okay. Is that Some... streamed or? Yeah, that will be streamed and okay. we can share the link. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas. Thanks, Chris. There you go. Uh, well, what do you know? Politicians getting political. I think I've seen it all. <laughs> uh, 841, Tomas Manglonia, uh, always covering uh, regional things NMI. Uh, Ma, thank you so much for the, what did you get? The hot pepper, tinny yeah, and hot pepper, the, the and world pepper. famous tinny this and hot is the pepper. World. Thank you so much. And Go the hide hot that. pepper festival is uh, rescheduled to uh, March uh, 11, I believe. So March there's 11. still a chance to get there if you okay, want to. Okay, right on. So I our, won't be there, but our, you can get there. Oh, our I thought our tickets were booked. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. No. And there's the, they're going to actually have a ferry from Saipan, too. So if you want to get to Saipan and then take the ferry to Tinian, you can do that. Wow. I actually yeah. never ridden the uh, ferry. I've been to Tinian once. Yeah, it was me awesome. neither. Yeah. Uh, so what? Why has it been down? It's just there hasn't been a lot of travel during the pandemic. Yeah, they're trying to bring it back. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna uh, been waiting for developments on that. But they, uh, recently, the mayor went to the states to take a look at it, and I think they're gonna be putting out uh, that bid soon to bring the ferry back. So uh, that's all the details I have now. But uh, exciting stuff. Yeah. Wow, that is. Oh, thank you, yeah. Tomas. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. There you go, Tomas Maglotny of the KUAM uh, News Team Regional News. Let's head right into the KUAM News link. Zoom room. Actually, sir, let's take a quick break and we'll get to Senator Joanne Brown uh, next right here on.